Well, hey guys, today's video is all about core plugging. Uh, if you've seen in my past videos, I've talked about the process of lawn care and you know, working toward uh, getting your yard in beautiful green condition. Speaking of green, before I go any farther, if you saw my uh, one of my most previous videos, uh, it was all about fertilizing. And in that video, I shared with you guys this year, um, I'm using a different fertilizer and wow is all I can say. Um, in the past, I've always used triple 17, which is a really nice granule blend, um, uh, really makes the grass green up. But this year I changed up to 30, five and 10 <clears throat> and that very high nitrogen level. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to show you guys, this is absolutely the most beautiful my yard has ever looked in a springtime. Boy, uh, we have had, since I put this down, we've had two, two periods of uh, nice, good soaking rains, and then with lots of sunshine in between. And of course I've mowed it a time or two, but this is the prettiest spring. Uh, I think I shared with you in the other video as well. I'm probably, this is my third year into trying to take my yard to another level. So I'm in the process of the fertilizing, the core plugging, the overseeding, and all of that. But I just wanted you guys to see how wonderful and how green this has turned out. It, again, it's the best one. So anyway, for me now <clears throat> to continue with the process. Now, uh, one thing I want to share with you guys, you wonder why you do core plugging and why do you do overseeding? Uh, every year it is just totally normal for you to lose about 15% of your grass. So if you don't do anything but mow, over uh, quite a few years, your yard will thin out and it'll just get infested with weeds. And so the whole reason for core plugging causes oxygenation. Um, once you core plug, you overseed, the seed will work its way down in those holes, it'll germinate, and you just keep your yard thick and lush. And the thicker you can keep, now of course I'm a fescue guy, uh, you don't have to grow fescue, that's just my choice, that's uh, the grass that I love. Um, the thicker, whatever choice you do, the thicker the grass you keep, it will shade out the weeds and it'll keep, it'll help keep them from infiltrating your yard. So it's just a process as we keep saying. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, just wanted to show you that before we get started, I'm gonna go grab the tractor and get the core plugger hooked up. And this afternoon is all about core plugging. All right, I've got the core plugger hooked up and I'm ready to get started. I just wanted to show you what I have. Uh, Core pluggers are fairly easy for your tractor to pull. Uh, there's no resistance to them. You just pull in a drum that's spinning uh, on two bearings. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm pulling, mine's almost a seven foot one. Uh, so it, you know, it works out really great. Uh, I can make some really good time with this. It's not hard on the tractor at all. The one thing that I do have to do is stay really on top of where I'm at um, in this part of the country, we have a lot of red clay. <clears throat> so my soil is really funny. Um, up until now, it just stays gooey muddy, but just in a flash, it'll turn to hard as concrete. And so for me, when I'm working about trying to get my core plugging done, I have to really keep an eye on my soil and catch it after a really good rain and during that drying out process, that perfect, find that perfect day that the soil is in great condition that I can core plug. If I go too quick and I'm still too muddy, then sure, it'll plug it, but the tractor, <coughs> the wheels, they will just make ruts in my yard and make a mess. And if I wait too long and the ground gets back really, really hard, then the core plugs just won't penetrate and you don't hardly pull any core plugs out of the ground. So today for me just happens to be that day. Uh, we had the rain over the weekend. Uh, it's been a couple of days. Yesterday was a real windy day and it did a lot of drying. Um, and today just seems like a perfect day to do it. So anyway, you know me guys, let's get busy, um, get loaded up, uh, get rocking with the tractor and we're just gonna put a bunch of holes in the ground. Let's get busy.
<clears throat> guys, I wanted to bring you a safety tip. Um, as I'm getting older, um, I really wished I had have done a better job of hear, hearing protection when I was younger, uh, but I definitely get into doing hearing protection now. Uh, I use these DeWalt's, they're uh, Bluetoothable. Uh, I, is that a word, Bluetoothable? <laughs> anyway, I Bluetooth my uh, iPhone in and listen to Pandora while I'm riding. Uh, so it's really nice. Uh, I don't get near as tired and I enjoy listening to the music while I'm on the tractor working. But one of the things is, is having these full muffs on, uh, I'm not listening to the noise. I use these when I'm chainsaw working, uh, when I'm on the tractor, uh, when I'm uh, leaf blowing, anything that I'm generating that high pitch, constant noise, just to help protect your ears. I would highly encourage uh, when you're working with equipment, definitely uh, use some type of hearing protection. Again, I really enjoy these muffs. When I first got them, I thought they would probably be really hot in the summertime, but they're really not that bad. And again, I enjoy having, uh, in, in actuality, uh, there's some other advantages to this too. Having full muffs, uh, when you're in the spring and you got all those really high windy days, you're outside working, uh, it helps uh, with ear protection with that for the wind and not getting ear infections. Uh, also, it helps with the noise reduction and all of that stuff. So uh, anyway, just highly encourage you some form of hearing protection. Uh, protect those ears, guys. Thanks. So guys, the core plugin's going great. The dirt is just, the soil is just in perfect condition. Um, I'm getting, uh, you know, good penetration. It's not too muddy, not too hard. So just caught it just on a perfect day. One of the things I wanted to show you, um, when I was over on this side of my property looking, obviously everything looks so nice and thick, but when you get close up on it, you can see that I, I, I still have work to go. This is one of the reasons for <clears throat> this being a long-term project because it takes a while to get all of your yard nice and thick and just you know the way it needs to be uh, for me I've got areas that are around my trees that are thin and so I wanted to kind of show you you can see all the thin spots all through here so one of the things I don't know if you noticed when I was doing my tractor work was I was going back and forth a lot and so what I wanted to do was to get a, a lot of these holes generated so because uh, I really want to work to thicken this up so when I go to overseed I will uh, really throw the seed down extra all through these areas and I've got different areas in my yard uh, that's got the thin patches like this and so this is the beauty of being able to do the core plugging and overseeding and what I will do instead of doing a push spreader uh, I actually wear one over my neck it's kind of old school but I like some things I still like doing old school because uh, doing it that way I can really uh, lay it in exactly where I need the grass seed to go and I, in other words in this area I can go slower in my walk and I can pump harder and I can put more grass seed out I can really control the way the grass is when I'm walking and I've got thick areas that I don't need so much I will obviously go faster not uh, uh, crank as hard and not put quite as much grass seed down so anyway guys just kind of wanted to show you where I am with this and uh, I'll continue on I've got the rest of the afternoon <clears throat> and probably into tomorrow some to get all of my area core plugged I want to get it all done this year get it in really nice shape and then I will bring you on the next video uh, laying out and doing the overseeding and then of course during the year as the seedlings uh, comes up I'll continue to try to do updates and then obviously we'll continue on with this lawn care series and we will get into the post emergence and get into doing the weed control so uh, for right now uh, just wanted to bring you this part of the part of the phase again the core plugging kind of let you see how this works it's not hard uh, it's just time consuming not not even that bad a time consume it's just an afternoon on the tractor uh, and again maybe tomorrow I mean I keep uh, over six acres finished here and so my goal is to try to get it all in nice shape I'm doing this on a budget so 
Uh, again, this is why this is a multi-year plan. I can only afford to put in so much each year. And so it's just been a building blocks process. So anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying all this. If you are, please consider um, uh, liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, I love having you guys come along. Again, uh, Project Next One is all about doing projects, knocking them out one at a time. I learn things as I go and I like to share all that information with you. Uh, together we all move forward. So anyway, for right now guys, we'll finish up this video for today. I'm gonna get back on the tractor and finish getting all the plugging done. And so for now, you guys have a great week upcoming. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy and we will catch you on another video very soon. As you know, I try to do uh, two postings a week on Mondays and Fridays. So we will catch you on another one down the line. Guys, take care. Thanks for watching and we'll see you.